Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, ghouls and ghoules. It is I, Douglas, here at Drown Boy Cosplay, ready to bring you guys another great video. Today's video is pretty special. This is something I don't buy very often, but upon this circumstance, I found it very worthy to spend the money on this item. I'm sure many of you saw the title and thumbnail and thought, the greatest nameless ghoul mask, or the best nameless ghoul mask out there. That can't be right. Let me look into that further. Let's let's see this video. Let's see what he has to show us. I can assure you that what I'm about to show you is by far the best nameless ghoul mask on the market as of the moment. Now there has been one little issue. As you can see here, the body is taped up and has fragile all over it. Well, after looking at it this morning, it appears that it has been opened by the post office, I would presume or some post office worker and resealed. There were no notes of any damage of any kind, so I'm not sure. But we're gonna open it up, take a look inside, and hopefully everything's as it should be and everything's great. So without further ado, let's crack it open. I'm gonna be careful with this one because I don't know where the item inside is. All right. Okay, so I can actually see the mask a bit at the surface. Um, there is one thing I hate, and it is packing peanuts, and this box is full of them. Now, it's kind of good that I can see the mask a little bit at the top. It doesn't look like he packaged it this way. It looks like it's definitely been fumbled around with, like there's a hair here right at the top. So I'm guessing they opened it. I haven't seen the mask yet, but I'm really, really hoping that it's not damaged because one of the problems that people have with these nameless ghoul masks is they get damaged in shipping. Now, not from this artist, but just these masks in general. So, Ah, uh, they're getting everywhere. I hate my life. <clears throat> See if there's anything else in here. Nope, just mountains and mountains of fucking packing peanuts. All right, let's see here. Get this guy out of the bubble wrap. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if there's any damage. Sorry guys, just taking a quick moment to inspect it all over to see if there's any damage. Uh, it looks good. No problems. That's great news. All right, so here we have a Meliora Nameless Ghoul Mask. Now, to the untrained eye, many of you think, oh, this is just a pretty decent looking mask. Looks kind of like a Trick or Treat Studios. Well, it's not. For one, I can tell you just by holding it and just by seeing it, it is astoundingly much, much smaller like an insane amount, much smaller. I would say it's almost half the size, maybe. I don't know, that might be a bit of an overstatement, but it feels like it's about half the size. These Nameless Ghoul masks are coming to us from a nameless artist. Um, that is the name of the artist. I'm not just bullshitting you saying I won't give his name out. He goes by a nameless artist on Instagram. Uh, he also has a YouTube and he does Twitch. I'll put his information on screen now if you'd like to go check any of that out. He's got some pretty fun videos and sometimes if you just are bored and you're crafting something and want to watch someone else make something, he does Twitch. I know I found myself a couple times just putting his videos on in the background while I'm also working. I will not turn into How To Basic. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I remember when these masks were first being sculpted and I was kind of messaged, given a heads up of, hey, these are going to be pretty limited. It's not going to be a massive run of these and they're going to be the best name of school masks on the market. If you're interested, here's how much. And I think they ran a little bit over $500. At the time I was interested, but I also was a bit skeptical about how it would turn out. Uh, the sculpt in progress wasn't perfect. But it wasn't bad either. It definitely looked like we were going to be seeing the best nameless ghoul mask we had seen yet. But there were just some minor problems I have with the sculpt. And I didn't know if I wanted to shell out that kind of money 
uh, for this product until I saw at least one finished. Well, I kind of forgot about it, let time go by, and then all of a sudden, I saw a good friend of mine, Chuck Ryan, over at Chuck Ryan Cosplay, I believe is his Instagram name. I'll put his stuff on screen now. Started posting some pictures of it on Facebook, as well as on his Instagram, and I noticed it, and I'm like, that looks absolutely phenomenal. It's beautiful where you get it. I think he originally had the Perkel Ghoul, which is the same sculpt. He just does the mouth cuts, and even then, his mouth cuts are on point. The artist does an amazing job. I really can't recommend him enough. Like, he did a really astounding job on these. And they're very expensive, but if you're serious about collecting or if you're serious about cosplay, I would say it's 100% worth it. Definitely get it yourself. I think these run around $500. I'm not sure if you're still able to get them. Uh, the last I heard, he was only going to be doing these up until the beginning of May. And right now, at the time of recording this video, it is right at mid-May. I don't know if he's still selling them or what. I think he's taking a break, he's working on school or something like that. And right now they may not be in production, you'll have to message the artist and find out yourself. But if you can get your hands on one of these, I highly recommend it. These are by far worth the money. Just. I was even kind of skeptical after seeing the finished products if I wanted to shell out that kind of money. For the longest time in my collection, my placeholder for the Meliora Ghoul was Jason King's number one, and it was painted by Oz, aka Ozeron, who normally does hockey masks and such. I've known that guy for a long time too. He does phenomenal work as well. And this collaboration piece between the two of them was just great. It was probably the best looking Meliora mask so far until these were created and I've had it in my collection for a couple years now and it was worth it. Uh, after seeing this I decided it was definitely worth the upgrade. I ended up getting rid of the Jason King version and using that money to put into this and it's absolutely worth it. I think the wait time on this guy was roughly around a month. I actually should have had it a little bit sooner but the postal service seems to have lost it at one point so for about a week there they didn't know what happened to it. I was super worried about it but there were no issues, ended up making it in today, and everything's fine. I guess it got opened somehow, somebody opened it, I don't know what the deal is, but everything on it looks fine, there's no issues. If you do contact the artist, he offers a variety of different ways to have these finished. You can get the Perkel Ghoul, you can get the Meliora Ghoul, and he's currently working on sculpting a female version of the Ghoul, so you'll be able to have that version with mouth. You can have the mouth removed, you can have it on, you can have any style of finishing you want. If you want it really bright, shiny chrome, he can do that. If you want it really dingy and dirty, he can do that. The paint job that I opted for was the Grammy Ghouls, as I like to call them. Uh, they had kind of a mid-weathered look to them, but they were still very shiny and looked very new. And it was really all about the lighting. But the highlights on them and how they were weathered at the time looked phenomenal because it changes in light. Like right here, I'm sure it looks a little bit darker and more gray, but in daylight, I think it'll look a lot brighter in different lighting settings, it'll look a lot brighter. Um, comparing it to pictures of the actual ghouls at the Grammys, he really nailed this paint job. Uh, it's one of the best paint jobs I've ever seen done, including my own. Uh, I do some pretty decent paint jobs on the Trick or Treat Studios versions. I've converted quite a few, and this defeats all of them. Absolutely, I recommend this guy. And another thing I really like is he has the straps. The strapping on it seems to be a very, very high quality elastic strap. It runs along the inside of the forehead all the way across. There's some padding in the mask as well. And it goes all the way around and it looks like it's a Velcro. So it, you pull it through this belt loop and then Velcro it as tight as you need. So you can head bang in it. You can walk around with no worries of it falling off. These masks are made out of a fiberglass I do believe. Looking at it, uh, it looks to be fiberglass on the inside. I don't know if there's some other shell to it or if it's 100% fiberglass, but his casts look amazing. They look fantastic. And on the inside here, it says number seven ANA. I'm pretty sure that means a nameless artist. And then I guess this is number seven. I had not known that he had done that many. I thought he'd done around five, but to fans who really want to spend the money, who really want the high quality stuff, it's absolutely worth it. This may be out of the price range for some of you, but that's A-OK. -okay. You can absolutely get the Nameless Ghoul mask. It really just depends what you're looking for, whether you're looking for a display, just something to represent your love for ghosts, or whether you're really looking hard into that accuracy and detail for your costume or for your collecting needs. Now, I don't know if this mask will fit me or not because it is so much smaller. Um, like I said, I think it is close to about maybe half the size of the Trick or Treat Studios ghouls. I remember the other ghouls I've had have been massive. They've been at least that much longer and even a little bit higher. 
and they barely sit on the shelf. They usually poke off the end of the shelf a little bit. This is very small. But as someone who has gotten a close enough look at the real Nameless School mask, I can tell you that's an issue that all the artists have had with making these. They made them like helmets. They made them massive. And I can understand trying to do that so that anybody can wear them, but they were really meant to be more masks, like the size of masks. They're not supposed to be these massive bobblehead helmets. And I'm sure some of you have noticed for people that actually fit the build of a Nameless School who wear the Trick or Treat Studios masks, or even some by other artists, the mask always looks a little bit big. This looks like accurate proportions. Like everything, all the details in the face look right. This just looks spot on, like he could have recasted one of the Nameless School masks and you could fool me. Uh, there are a couple small things about it, but literally ever so slightly off like not even enough to complain about. I have no real complaints about it. I strongly recommend it. I am very satisfied. So guys, I guess that's about it. All I can do is maybe try to see if I can wear this, get some worn shots. Also get you guys some detail shots. Yet again, a nameless artist on Instagram. Go check him out and check out his YouTube. Check out his Twitch if you're interested. Strongly recommend it. Really, really strongly recommend it. I haven't been this happy with receiving a ghost mask in a long time. It's been a lot of repaints of other masks or just a lot of the same, you know, Trick or Treat Studios masks, more Walter QP masks, and those are fine and great. But this is a piece that is unique and different enough that I can say it's 100% worth every penny you put into it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't worry, there are some more ghost videos coming out very soon. Uh, things have been pretty rough around here recently, a lot going on with family, and I've been super busy, so I'm hoping I can get this video out for you guys pretty soon from the time of shooting. And I hope I get to shoot more videos for you guys very soon as well, because I've got some nice stuff planned. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you have ghosts, you have everything. Hope you all have a fantastic day.